these are. I got them growing all over this year. As far as I can see oh, across my backyard. I wonder if there's something beneficial. These are what they look like up close. Don't look like stinging nettle or anything. No, it would have nailed me already. Don't know what it is, if it's some kind of beneficial plant or poison. And then those other plants, I get the big red berries with the, looks like a bird on top. There, they're coming too. Got one there, and I got this one here. Oops, I'm still zoomed in. Let's see. And then I got one that's still here. Let's see, I gotta find it again. Oh, right here. I guess it's called a jack in a pulpit. Yeah. Thanks, Grandma Rose. I wouldn't have known what that was. <laughs> They're kind of neat looking. So far, I only see the one of them this year so far. Oh, nope. There's one here. Whoops. Damn. Hate the way I do that. The one here, and then over here, there's another one. Uh, yeah. Neat. But that, that meadow over there, all those wild things, whatever they are, is up to my waist, higher than my waist. Oh. And then, of course, the end of lines mixed in there. You could get lost in there. <laughs> but I don't want to walk in it. After that rain we had, these weren't here. And within two days, this high. I can't believe it. I've always had some grow, but not like this year. Well, how are they ever everywhere? Got a lilac popping up. Where is it? The camera. Over too high. It's right in there anyway. I got my main lilac right there. Don't know if it's going to flower this year or not. Sometimes it gets one flower and that's it. I think it needs to be thinned out too. Because I was giving away lilacs like crazy out of here. Because I had so many of them. I want to clear them out because I want to get my pump to put on my second well there. I just walking around the yard. Look how high this this thing is almost to my knee. Great big leaves. Some more of them here. Don't know what they are. Oh, yeah, and then I'll take you over. There's the dandelions. Those are good eating. And all of these in here. Dandelions, too. You can eat them, the whole plant. It's good for people who are diabetic. I like to pick the big leaves and put them on a sandwich, like you do with lettuce. My lily of the valley is all greened out here. See how far it goes? Anybody want some, let me know. And it's starting down there. You can see it's starting to bloom. Flowers are finally coming on. That rain really did shoot everything up. Oh, and I gotta show you too, in my garden. 
because my cat lay in there. I'll get this cleaned up too as soon as I feel like it. My spinach is coming up. You see all the little green? Not that big thing. That's just a leaf from somewhere. The little green things there. It's all spinach, I believe. Yep, the one right there with the seed on it. The seed shell. Still on it. <laughs> it's coming up good. Don't see anything in anything else yet. The thing there that I think is my grapes. Is the little green thing. It's still growing. There's two of them there now. As big a seed as it had, though, I don't think it's a grape. I think it's a weed. <sighs> Nothing out of the stevia yet. Oh, oh, oh. Looky right here. Can you see the little green? That's a bean shell shoot just starting to come out. So my beans will be up pretty soon. And I gotta go in and check my battery too. So I can put my drain holes in my buckets. So people want to see that. Okay, I've got my drill. Doesn't matter what size bit you go got. I mean this is kind of overkill. But I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. But flip your handles out of the way if you got one. And you don't want to put it way right in the you know, like you would normally do in the bottom no go up three four inches and put your hole it works. do i got this on backwards no that drill does not i gotta change my bit be right back that bit is really dull. Okay. Got a different bit. Got to switch this out here. Hold on a second. I don't want you to look at my garbage. Try this again one-handed. Don't know how it's going to come out. I'm going to put it in. Oh, oh, great. The bit came out. I'm telling you, if anything can go wrong for me today, it will. <laughs> I'm sorry about all the jiggling around. See, it's right there. You can put one hole or two holes. I'm going to try for two in each one. Maybe one. I don't know. I think I'll just use one because my dirt is pretty much sand-based. So water goes through sand pretty fast. And the yellow bucket there has already got holes. And the green, whoops. And the green one there from last year. And I just stepped on Bandit's tail. Bandit, I'm sorry, hon. So I'll get the rest of these done. Oh, here we go. All the bowls, or bowls. Buckets got their drain holes in them now. That one, the wooden one, it has a bunch in the bottom, so I'm not doing nothing with that one. <sighs> if I get more buckets and I have to transplant my um, stevia or something, then I'll get a plastic and I'll put a drain hole in the side of that too. Even that little lard container there, that's got a drain hole inside too. <sighs> All the buckets have one hole because being I have sand the water drains from it very fast so I want to slow it down a little bit just have one hole but if you got like here this is potting soil with fertilizer already in it so that's going to drain slower but this won't drain real bad because it does have um, vermiculite and pieces of wood and stuff like that in there. There's my elderberries going to town. 
both of them. That one there is an elderberry. And it's starting down there and all the way up is my elderberry. <laughs> Growing good. Can't wait to get berries off of it. Well, thank you all for watching. You all have a very nice day. And uh, remember, whatever you do in life, make a difference. Look at my sweet William down here. All these little purple flowers. Why does it ever smell nice when you cut the grass with that stuff? And the bumblebees. Oh my goodness, they just love it. Where are they? There's one there. I can't find them in the camera. There he is. They're big ones. Very cute. And I got Sweet William all over my yard. Bunch of it over there too. Smells really nice when you cut it. But I don't want to cut it. Well, truth is I can't. I don't have a mower. That's another day and another bunch of money. <laughs> another bumblebee over there flying, playing around. Where's that stalk? There he is. And they, they never bother me. They can really pack a wallop though, because I got stung in the top lip once with them, and my lip came my way out there. Boy, you wouldn't believe it. That one's getting closer. I wonder if bumblebees make honey. You know, because they get the pollen all over their legs and everything, and they're taking it somewhere. I got hundreds of them out here, though. They're all over, and them ones over there. Oh, hummingbird. And my feet are there. Do you see her? Ruby throated. They've been going like crazy this year, the hummingbirds. I was so close to her, she didn't even act like she even cared I was here. She or, well, I guess the colored, bright colored ones are the males. Stand here a minute, see if she comes back. I have four hummingbird feeders and they hit them pretty good. And I love hummingbirds. You know, hummingbirds eat, I guess like a couple times their weight in mosquitoes. They don't just eat nectar in that. I didn't know that. I bet you she's around back. Got my feeder in the back. Take a peek back there and watch. She'll... She's sitting somewhere watching me, or he is. As they always do. Because they, they buzz around my head when I'm filling the feeders. <laughs> they don't even leave. This one in the back is more in the shade, and they seem to like the shade ones a little better. She's not up there either. I guarantee you, she's sitting in one of these trees watching me, you know. Sneak back around the front. They make their way all the way around the house. Nope. Gotta dump some rain out of here. People always wonder why I leave my propane lid like that open. It's because bees love to make a nest in that thing. And I don't want them by the house. And they're not gonna be honeybees. It's always gonna be them nasty yellow jackets. <laughs> I really hate those things. I'm gonna go slow, see if I can catch her. Oh, yeah. well, she's not out there. Oh well. Till next time. Bye now. I'm hoping one of my honeymoon friends will come back. She was just there a second ago.
pardon my dirty window, it's got pollen all over it.